Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This week we have four stories. The first one is the new Honda Jet Elite 2 just came out and was released. We'll talk about the AAM Coordination and Leadership Act that was signed into law. The FAA is also asking for comments on airline seating dimensions. This is going to be a good one. And then lastly, Starlink Aviation is uh, making an appearance. We'll talk about all the details. So let's get to it. First story this week, the new Honda Jet Elite 2 was announced at NBAA this week. Uh, this this uh, new Honda Jet has a 1547 nautical mile range, which is not nothing, a cruise speed of 422 knots at flight level 300, and then a maximum altitude of flight level 430, which is a lot. Uh, the aircraft has a Garmin G3000, the uh, Garmin Emergency Auto Line, which we talked about uh, a while back in this show, which is absolutely amazing, and then the auto throttle uh, feature as well. Uh, the aircraft will be priced around $7 million, so we'll have to wait a little bit longer before uh, we can buy one of these. The next story is the AAM Coordination and Leadership Act that was signed into law this week. This is a Senate Bill 516, and uh, the, the title is uh, Advanced Air Mobility Coordination and Leadership Act. This uh, new law required the Secretary of Transportation to establish an AAM interagency working group. This group is going to be tasked with reviewing and examining the factors that will help AAM uh, become more mature in the U.S. and then develop a national strategy for AAM. I think this is actually a great thing. Uh, the FAA and uh, the rest of the country needs to uh, start thinking really about how we're going to make all of this work. And uh, I hope uh, they can, uh, well, make some uh, forward movement with this. The next story, the FAA is considering new safety standards for airline seating. Uh, the FAA is asking for comments regarding the seat width, pitch, and the length as it pertains to emergency evacuation. This is kind of the key word here. Uh, the FAA has said specifically they're not requesting comments regarding any other matters unrelated to this section, which is section 577. Uh, they're not asking comments about the dimension of passenger seats that relate to the comfort of the passengers. I'm still sure they're going to get uh, a bazillion comments regarding that, but uh, that's not what the purpose of this is at this stage. And the last story this week, Starlink is officially launching their Starlink Aviation, a promising internet to aircraft. Uh, the aircraft speed is uh, designed to be 350 megabit per second download and then 20 millisecond latency, which is absolutely amazing. But there is a but. The uh, full install kit is going to run at around $150,000 and a monthly contract between $12,500 and $25,000. Uh, obviously, the initial target market is for larger uh, business jets. Uh, we'll see what happens. I'm sure this is going to get mi uh, miniaturized eventually and then uh, be available in smaller aircraft but uh, in the moment it's only going to be for people that can afford it all right this is all we have for you this week like subscribe and we'll see you next week mm -hmm.